Are you still struggling with confidence? You might be killing your confidence with one of these three habits. The first habit is tearing yourself down. You are your worst enemy or your best friend. So if you fail something and you beat yourself up over it, it's gonna kill your confidence. If you are telling yourself that you can't do this, you'll never be that, they're gonna laugh at me, and you're, you're beating yourself up before anyone else can make fun of you, you're done. Your confidence is done. Any little shred you have, you shit on it yourself, and it's, it's gone. You've gotta stop beating yourself up. You've gotta stop tearing yourself down. You go for it, and if you fail, you fail, but instead of telling yourself you're a failure, you've got to tell yourself, I'm proud of you for trying. I'm proud of you for giving it your best. You didn't get it this time, but next time you'll succeed. And if not, we'll figure out why and we'll continue on. Beating yourself up is the first habit that's going to kill your confidence. And you do this all day, every day. Decide how you're going to treat yourself and do so accordingly weird thing to say there, but treat yourself right. The second habit that's killing your confidence is staying in your comfort zone. I don't mean go do things that are bad for you or do things that are bad for your boundaries. I'm referring to things that you're just not comfortable with, like maybe trying to dance, trying a new thing. You've got to expand your horizon. You've got to try these things and you're going to fail. Most likely you will fail but you're gonna get the hang of it over time. These little victories are going to help grow your confidence. You're gonna be like, you know what? Yeah, I did try this. I'm proud of myself for trying this. I failed a few times, but then I got it down. This staying in your comfort zone is not gonna create these situations for you at all. You're gonna stay in one spot and you're always gonna wonder, what if I pushed myself? What if I learned this thing? What if I tried this thing? I was okay at cooking. I pushed myself and I've gotten a lot better at cooking and I'm that's growing my confidence. I'm proud of myself. I was capable of cooking before, but now I cook a hell of a lot better and I'm more confident in what I can do. If I shut myself off and harbored myself into, oh yeah, I can kind of cook, but I, I'm, it's not really me. My confidence would not have grown. My cooking skills would not have grown either. Push yourself, get out of your comfort zone. It's gonna grow your confidence and it's gonna grow you as a person. The third habit that's killing your confidence is letting others get in your head. Letting others get to you and say that you can't do this, you can't do that, that's not you. Oh, you're, you're not very good at that, you'll never get good at that. The more you allow those opinions of others to cloud your mental space, the more you're gonna continue to kill your confidence. You've got to hold yourself first and understand that you are capable of that which you put your mind to. It doesn't mean you can poof and get a Lamborghini, but that does mean that with time you will grow and you will become more capable of doing these things. So don't let what anyone else is saying fuck you up and mess with your mental because that's exactly what it's going to do and it's going to kill your confidence. Find a way that works for you, a healthy way preferably, and shut that noise out. That doesn't mean go tell your friend to shut up. That just means like a rock, let it wash over you and be gone. Don't let these three habits kill your confidence. Get out there. Stay strong. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.